Hello everyone, welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry. We are getting close to the ending of the game because we are going to win the last competition thing that we have to do right now, which is uh, there. And uh, we still need to do, we need to combine, my god that's loud. This with a Venezuelan, we need to, yeah. Uh, the there. ship's kitchen would be a perfect place. Okay, fine. We're heading back to the kitchen then. Whatever. <laughs> Combine this. There. Combine it together. You set the cute little kitchen timer for exactly 55 minutes. Mix the kumquat into your pot of beaver cheese, throw in a few more things you find lying under the kitchen counter, then place the entire mess in a clean baking dish and slam it in the oven. Well, okay. A baking dish. Hey, that doesn't smell half bad. Yeah, well. No, it smells all bad. I wish I had that sniff cart. Anyways, we are um, going here. Judge Julia has never met a dessert she didn't like. Or a key, or a souffle, or a... Judge Graham specializes in food for those who want to lower their intake of fat and taste. Judge Paul is obviously fond of food. His own, his competitors, anyone's. Or even holding the quiche already. Okay. Oh, yes, darling. I know you'd love to talk to me, but the judges here are forbidden from fraternizing with the prisoners. No, no, I mean contestants. Okay, so no talkie then. Then how about you eat my quiche? You present your concoction for evaluation by the panel of esteemed chefs. The scorecard, please. And thank you, Mr. Laffa. Well, let's see now. <laughs> well, this has nothing to distinguish it from the hundreds of other Venezuelan beaver cheese quiches we've endured. Although the essence of kumquat does help slightly. <laughs> but she didn't like it. I don't even want to bother tasting it. Ah. Uh -huh. I might want to try. No, never mind. Okay. Well, you know what? I am going to add. Hmm. This ought to spice it up a little. Exactly. A little bit of extra. Um, spice. So let's head back. Do you want it now? I hope you do. Where's the quiche? Quiche de la vie. Proudly, you present your special enhanced concoction for evaluation by the panel of esteemed chefs. Um, scorecard, please. Um, thank you, Mr. Laffa. Well, what do we have here? I'll have what yes. she's having. Well, delightful. Yeah. Hey, wait for me. You know what they like. Look at those scores. You just won the cook-off competition. Oh, my. Well, that's a win. We can now go to the captain's quarters. Attention, please. Larry Lapper has just won the cook-off with a record high score of 300 points. Congratulations, Larry. Everyone wants a copy of that recipe. All right, let's knock on the door. Uh. This is the door to Captain Thigh's personal quarters. It's locked. Maybe if you 
Knock. Okay. Other. Knock. Okay, Captain. Prepare to meet your new master. Oh. God, man. What happened to you? I'm last week's winner. Or what's left of me. Don't go in there. Are you sure you want to continue, Larry? I do. <laughs> I made it this far. I'm not <laughs> quitting now. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice one. There she is, Captain Thigh. Oh. oh. That's not nice. It's a terrible error. I was told the winner of my competition was one Larry Laffer. Oh, that's me already. I am so excited about winning the free cruise and spending a week with a beautiful babe like you. Why, there must be some mistake. Uh, no, that was uh, never part of the offer. I, I thought, you know, your cabin, a week of and me and... Oh. Aw, I feel so sad. But I won the contest, fair and... <clears throat> well, I won the contests. Yes, I know. Well, the cruise part is no problem. I'm sure your room is available next week. No. But, and I know that the winner is supposed to spend a week with me, but I'm filled with ennui. What? What do you mean, ennui? Ennui. Oh, it's difficult to explain. Ennui. Noun. Listlessness and dissatisfaction resulting from lack of interest. Boredom. French. From the old French, ennuyé. To annoy, to bore. From the vulgar Latin. To quote John Barth, the servants relieved their ennui with gambling and gossip about their masters. Who the hell is that? I don't know, but I hear him all the time. <laughs> but how can you change the rules now? I thought I'd won the game. After seeing you, Larry Laffer, suddenly I expect something more. And besides, I always say a man should give before he gets. What? So, what do you really want out of life, Captain? Oh, I don't know. The cruise game just isn't what it used to be. Once, everything was tinsel and glamour, jet setters and high rollers, playboys and loose sex, you know? And now, Richard Simmons and Kathy Lee. Besides, this was never my idea of a career. I want to return to my previous occupation. Oh, super tanker, Captain. Really? Oh, yes. I'd do anything to put some real mass under me again. I just can't understand why I lost that gig on the Boning Valdez, just because we happen to run aground. Oh, like it's my fault Hazelton would rather spend the night in my cabin instead of on that drafty old bridge. Don't you get tired of spending every week with a new man, learning his fancies, his desires, his sensitivities, his erogenous zones, learning to please him? Perhaps I don't understand the question. What exactly are you trying to say? I don't know either. So, uh, what do you say? A little game of drop the anchor? You and me, stem to stern, tug and tanker? God, Larry, you're pathetic. How'd you ever get past the Love Master 2000? Cheat? Was that a no? I didn't cheat. I just remembered. I've got a meeting. Bye-bye. Yeah, right. You'll be back. I will? I'm back. I am. Excuse me while I try to hide my enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm excited too. Yeah. You know what? Hey, bet you fancy me when I when I give you this. You know, Cappy, I just might be the boy who makes your dreams come true. Oh, this is doubtful. Extremely doubtful. What would you say if I told you I recently came into a significant position 
in a major shipping line. I'd say we were both dreaming. Well, dream no more, sweet cakes. Let me whip this out. Phrasing. God, how crude. Yep, crude it is. Crude oil shipping. Well, I'll be damned. Does this say what I think it says? That you're... Nothing less than the proud new majority shareholder of Bone Code Transportation. Only the number one crude oil shipper in all the world. This changes everything. Sure does. But operating the world's largest fleet of super tankers is so demanding. The environmental groups, the regulators, the constant turnover when captains strike major continents. Turnover can be a good thing. Well, I am looking for someone to fill a position directly under me. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh Larry. <laughs> Although I just love opera, how about we listen to some of my music? Disco. <laughs> This is so shallow. Man, this one. Celebrate. Okay, so we finished again. We didn't get the um, the hundred percent completion because we're missing out on eight points and I I skipped that last Easter egg. If you get all eight Easter eggs and you get a thousand points, you will get some extra cutscenes after the credits but i'm pretty sure that somewhere on the internet you can find those or if you want to watch it yourself play the game yourself um the entire bundle i got it on gog.com so it's probably you know it's probably still for sale there so you can buy it and play the game yourself all the way through get those extra points and uh, get all the easter eggs and basically get all the cutscenes but this one, number seven, I know that the Leisure Suit Larry games are a child of their era. The first three were really sexist, but all pixelated. And then five and six were a little bit more gentle, a little bit eased down. They're, they, I mean, they got plenty of innuendo still, but nothing that they never crossed the line this game cartoony it went everywhere all over the place there was no thin line they gave you exactly what they thought you wanted and um it's, just, it's even a little tad disgusting <laughs> at a couple of points so do i think this is it's not as good as the previous games mainly because there was no more room for innuendos or fantasy they just slapped it into your face like here it is we're in a, in a new world i believe this was made like in the 90s late 90s and everything everything went it was a change of time you wanted to see some boobas you got some boobas there you go here's plenty of boobas if you want to cartoony boobas but still they were there and i personally think right now uh that wasn't a good i mean teenage me back then was very excited but right now no i like to have the little the little bit of gray area there to leave for your imagination I just black it out and do something with the but even then when that happened blacking out and doing something with uh, only the audio they just made absolutely sure you you realized what was going on um, but this is actually the last legislary game in the original series i'm not again i'm not counting magna cum laude um there was a remaster Wait, is this, uh, did we get the extra scene? Oh no. Coming and explores Uranus. That never happened. 
It's only 992 out of 1,000 points. Uh, but we did get all the, the Waldos. And, um... Ah, ha, 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 that's funny. All right, answer for none. Just gotcha. Yeah. It's hilarious. All right, and the game closed down. But, um... You, you can just, you know... Boop. Take a little look at my lovely background there. Luscious and Larry 7, last one of the original series. They made a, a re master of the first one, uh, which was mainly a mobile game, but I'm pretty sure that's, that later on it also became a PC game. And obviously they made the entire reboot with the Luscious and Larry. There's two games. I'm not sure if they're making more, but there's two games. Wet Dreams Don't Die and... Um, Wet Dreams Dry Twice, I believe, were the titles, which I do own, which I want to play somewhere eventually in the future on the channel. But I think we need to take a little breath because this game, that was something. Anyways, thank you very much for watching the entire series, and I will see you next time.